there were times, there have been many times where I've been the only woman or the only African American in my classes. Um, I would have to say even starting off as a child uh, in elementary school, uh, kids always tease someone who they call the teacher's pet. So I was always the teacher's pet and always a nerd. So um, it was difficult at that time because also when you achieve at that age, they tend to want to separate you and put you into different classes doing maybe different work than other students. And so because of that, I was separated from my own peers at an early age. Uh, in middle school and high school, the same way. But I think probably by middle school and high school, I had actually gotten used to it. By the time that I got in college, that was definitely the case. I was typically the mo only female, only male, in a male-dominated area of computer science and engineering. It made me feel isolated most of the time uh, because there's no one like you in the classroom. And often, people have their own stereotypes about you uh, when you come into the class, whether you need to be there, how did you get there, are you really as smart as they are, you know. So there's some isolation, a lot of isolation that I, that I felt being the only one. I did feel some pressure uh, because I was different. Well, in some ways, yes, in some ways, no. Uh, I did feel some pressure because I wanted to prove that I deserved to be here and that I was just as good as everyone else. And I got the scholarships and the fellowships and I got the grades and everything else that allowed me to have the same place that they did in the class. But in some ways, no, because I had almost gotten used to it and had gotten to a point where there's no need to try and prove something to people who aren't even interested anyway with whether I need to be here or not. So I think after a period of time it became not so, not so important to me.